So I'm back with another affordable wig review. And today I will be reviewing this $14 Outre Doobie Pixie Cut Wig. Straight out of the package, I noticed that she only has two combs. There's a comb right here, and there's also a comb in the back. So because she only comes with two combs and the adjustable strap, I hope that she's extremely secure on my head because I don't need any faux pas happening with this wig. Just looking at it right now, it looks very, very scary. It's looking like a hat. I don't know, it's kind of looking like a bowl. I don't even know how to, it just looks very thick and short. This wig is not a lace front or anything. This is a full cap wig and it also comes with a closure at the top. The closure is like a beehive. I guess people call it a beehive, like a circle closure at the top to close it in. So because this is not a lace front wig or a full lace wig, you are not able to do parts within the wig and you cannot see a scalp. Okay, so before I cut this piece off of the wig, I just wanted to read some quick information about the wig. I see that this wig comes in various colors, but the color that I do have is the color number one. It says that this hair is also 100% human hair, so you can wash it, you can condition it, you can also curl it. You can try maybe a flipped hairstyle, or you can do some pin curls with this hair. You can curl it with your curling iron or flat iron and be 100% fine. So to try this wig on, I'm just going to get the comb in the back. I'm going to secure that first, and then I'm going to stretch it forward and then secure the one in the front. Just the back of the wig. Secure that down first. Okay, this looks extremely scary. Oh wait, it's kind of cute from the side. But let me let, let me make sure she she fits down as flat as possible because this is looking like what is this even looking? I don't <laughs> I don't even know. She's very stretchy, very, very stretchy, so she can fit on various head shapes and sizes. I'm just trying, I love when the short hair wigs come this way, so I'm just trying to just put her down in the back. Then I need some hair around my ears because I just, I just go for that look. She's kind of cute. Let's see, let's fix her over here. Let me do a 360 turn so you can see how she she's looking. I like her. I don't want her to look like a bowl on my head. <laughs> I do not want her to look like a bow, so let me try to like, okay, it's shedding all over my legs. I like this, this is cute right here. Let me do a 360 so you can see how she's looking. Okay, I like this. From what I can see in my viewfinder, I like the fact that it's kind of layered. So you can do different things. And it kind of looks like a feathered sort of wrap with short hair. It's definitely really easy to style. Really, really simple to style. I love the fact that this wig is stretchy enough to completely cover my hair in the back and you can't see my hair peeking through at all. Like when I'm doing this, I don't feel it peeking through and most wigs don't even do that. So I love the fact that this one does. I like this. It's like a cute little like Jada Pinkett in the 90s hairstyle. 
I know Rihanna had her hair cut like this at one point as well. Something similar to this. Really, really, really cute and chic. Effortless hairstyle. And I love how flat this is on my head. It's laying down really flat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what do you guys think about this hair? I was gonna try some pin curls. I still might Try to pin curl it a little bit, but for this wig to only be $14 It's definitely definitely worth the money and the best part is it's human hair So it'll last much longer than your synthetic wigs. You can do a lot more styles with it. I even got my Gorilla snot because I was thinking about doing like some finger waves on the side, which I still might experiment with but I feel like this wig is too short to do that it's already styled you really don't have to do much to it only thing that I would say is that this wig I wish it came in like a lace front version or some type of lace version because I would like to have a, a deep part right here maybe I could kind of put some concealer or makeup to make it look like a part because I like this this side is really cute this size cute too. All right, so styling options. I do not like this style. This is how it looks on the front of the package. I like it coming across like this. I love the fact that it has like these long sideburns. And then I like the fact that you don't really notice that it has like this closure at the top. It just looks like my hair is cut really, really short. And I love it. Definitely get like a nineties vibe from this hair. I can A, go in with this wig and cut more around the ear, but I don't have my cutting scissors, so I'm not gonna do that. I can get some pomade. One of my subscribers, um, she actually told me to do this. Get some pomade and run my hands through the wig to kind of style it a little bit more. If you don't really like the hair being so flat on your head, you can give it some length and elevate it a little bit with some pomade. My hair used to look just like this when I had a relaxer. Um, and I had like a short hairstyle. It was really full and thick like this wig is. And my hair looked like a wig. And this is how this is giving me like that hairstyle. Um, I didn't have this exact 90s and start pixie, but I had like a short pixie mohawkish hairstyle a few years ago and it looked just like this. So yes, this does look like a full, it looks like you have like really thick hair. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more alterations to it and see how I'm liking it after that. And pull it forward too. See how she look forward a little bit more. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's really giving me like late '80s, early '90s. But okay, she's still cute. I love wearing wigs because I get tired and bored with the same hairstyle, and I feel like with wigs you get, you know, variety without the commitment. So I feel like she still kind of looks like a hat a little bit, but I feel like this hair is like so full and thick that it is going to look like that regardless. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this wig. Would you do something like this? I know this is very drastic if you're normally used to wearing your hair long and straight. It's definitely, definitely, definitely really cute, really trendy, really classic and timeless, and it's definitely easy to style. My number one favorite thing about this wig is the fact that it's human hair and it was only $14, so I can do different styles to it. I can even wash it. I can color it if I want to. Not with bleach or anything like that, but I can do like a hair color spray or change the color of it if I don't find a color that I want. I know they come in various colors, so if there is not an option of a color that I am interested in getting, I can use like some temporary hairspray or hair chalk and I can jazz it up a little bit. But it's definitely really cute black. I like this black color a lot. I am about to go to the store. 
I'm going, you know, test her out, give her a test run and see how she is reacting in public. I did pay for this $14 wig with my own coins and yeah, I'm happy that I did because she's about to end the summer for me. I think I might wear her to happy hour too on Wednesday. I'm going to happy hour on Wednesday, so. I'm babbling and rambling on and I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I say all that to say that I do like her and please let me know down below in the comment section what you think about her. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.